Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to make a background like this for your YouTube page. The Photoshop file for that page looks like this, so I'll show you how to do that. First thing, go up to File and New, and the width, type in 960. The height is depending on how high of a design you want to add, but I'll put in 600 for this one. Resolution can be 72. Color mode, I guess, should be RGB and background contents, keep that at white. Then click OK. So this here white box we have is going to go directly behind the YouTube background here. So we're not going to see anything on that area of the image. So that's basically just a marker to remind us what's not going to be shown. To get the design area, you go up to Image, Canvas Size, and then we're going to make the width up to 1600. Height stays the same. Make sure relative is unchecked and canvas extension color. Put that to black. That way, when we click OK and zoom out, control minus, these here sides are going to be what shows on the YouTube background. I'll make them white later, but right now I just need to know how I need to know how much room I have to edit and where to put the design. So the design for this background I got from Dreams Time. Uh, if you search for logo background grunge curl. Uh, you'll find lots of things like this. I can put a link to this one in the sidebar. So open your design up in Photoshop and then I'm going to select it. For this one I'll just draw with the lasso tool around the area I want to use. You can just draw a squiggly line. It doesn't matter. And then copy that and go back to your image and paste. And there we have the design in the page. Now you can see I'm going to need a taller image. I'm going to make the height 800. And the anchor point determines where the pixels are going to be added on. Since I cl clicked on the top, pixels will be added to the bottom. So I'll click OK. Now on the layer 1, make sure that's checked. I'm going to rotate this to fit on the edge. So I'm going to press Control T. And now I can grab these corners and rotate the design. And then if I click in the middle, I can drag it over to the edge. And I'm going to need still bigger. So I'll just click OK. Image, canvas size, height, I'll make 1000. Make sure you click the top so the pixels are added to the bottom. And clicking V to get the Move tool. And Control T, Transform. So I'm going to line this up with the edge of the white there. And you can see that it fits in the page well. I'll push it up quite far to the top and then click OK. Now I want to make another one of these on the other side. And I'm just going to use the same one and rotate it around. So to duplicate this layer, I press Control J. Make sure the correct layer is selected. Now we have a copy of it. And you can't see it because it's hidden behind this one. But if we use the move tool again. You can just grab it and drag it. And then control T for transform or else you can go up to edit, transform, rotate or free transform. And then grab the corner and flip it around and then line it up on your edge here again. Now if I had cropped this more close to the edge I'd be able to tell if I'm in the right spot but I'll just flip it back and forth. That looks pretty good. Now the only thing else I have to do is create a white background. To do that, I'm going to create an extra layer in here with the new layer button. Now you can see I have a blank layer too. And white is my background. If it's not your background, you can click this here, default colors, and then press control backspace to fill the layer with the background. And now we have totally white. If we want to see our template lines, we can just hide this background by pressing the eyeball. So there we have it. That's all you have to do. Click File, Save for Web and Devices. And from the preset, JPEG Medium is, is high enough quality. You can click High if you want. Then click Save. To add the design to your YouTube background, go up to your account, then Themes and Colors, show Advanced Options, and then Background Image Delete. That'll get rid of whatever you have there now. And browse to your image you just created. And there you have it. When you resize the browser, 
your design will stay centered and it'll just crop the very outside of your design so it'll look the same for everyone who visits. There you go. Check out more tutorials from tutorvid.com.